to see something cool? No. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Okay, all set to go. Here's Mookie Betts. The right fielder, Mookie Betts. The wine of the pitch. Fastball for a strike. Okay, this one is off and running. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. This guy at the dish excels in two-strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch the right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. And a foul ball. Freeman, in his 14th season, a member of the 2000 hit club. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. The 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. And the pitch in the air, left side. O'Neill drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to One keep ball. the ball One off strike. the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Bounce to third. Goes to second oh. for one. Not in time right. at first. It's a fielder's choice. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Yeah, He's someone man. that you might not well, describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And first offering is fouled off. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, Boog. never takes a break. It's oh, guys it's like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Hernandez leads off first with two down to the inning. And now one and two. In the air, right field. Abreu makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here in Boston, and stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. The center fielder, 
Garrett. Garrett. And the pitch. Right. Swing and a miss. Ooh. One one. No ball. One strike. Bet settles underneath it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. And next for the Red Sox, Sidane Rafaela. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Swing and a miss. One out, base is empty. Liner, base hit. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, Very but he didn't spin off the of right it. That's the key. You still Very have good. to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. No Will your Abreu stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And, and the right-hander deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Swing and a miss struck him out. Batting four. Rafael Devers up to hit. Rafael Devers. Swing and a miss oh, as he was out front that time. Swing and a drive deep right field. That's back there. That one is gone. That'll fire up the dugout. It's 2-0. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Oh. And a swing and a miss. Oh, that's that slurp one. right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That misses the zone. And the count 2-1. Swings through that Ooh. one for strike two. Two, two. two outs. And that's oh. just foul. And down on Ooh. strikes. And that will end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Off. And up to the plate the is Will Smith. Will. Crawford back to work. Foul ball there. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering is foul back. That one out to right. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. That with the way hit. defenders track down the balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And a pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. But no chance to recover. He'll reach after the strikeout. Here comes Chris Taylor. Well, that's the kind of moment that you have to produce a very productive at bat. And at worst case scenario, you move that base runner up to third, but not even putting the ball in no play ball. with one two strike. strikes. He's going to have to sit on that one for a couple of innings. One not ball. close, and it deflects away. But all the runners hold. The 1-1. One, one. Late that time, and it's strike two. And another ball. 
Here comes a pitch. Three Outside ball. low. Three ball three. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in. He's safe. Oh, he's Trying to safe. wiggle out of a rundown now. And he's out oh, easily. Man. But they do get a run. Rojas into second, and he's got a double. Batting nine. The center. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Tommy Edmond. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Coming home. Stuck in a rundown, trying for home now. And they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. Back inside Fenway Park. We head to the bottom of the second. Joe stepping in for Boston. Tristan Casas. The pitch. Into center. It falls in, and that's a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No that's messing right. around right there. That's Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And the 1-0. High fly ball out to left field. Hernandez makes the grab. And there's one down. Here's Trevor that Story. Again. The shortstop. Trevor Story. Just missed. Otani, the former MVP, he throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Next to hit, Connor Wong. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Playable bets makes the grab, and there's one away. Two down. Back to the top center of the lineup, fielder, and now 16. the center fielder, Jaron Duran. He's 0 for 1. Durant. Fouled off. He was late. And that one fouled off. First and second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And now it's Mookie Betts. Mookie. Bet. The wind and the pitch. Bet swings and drives one. This one's well struck, and it's off the green monster. Throwback in holds him at first, so just a single. The first baseman, number five. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Freddie. Fly to left his first time. And a swing and a miss there. Oh and one. Grounded to third. Could be two. Devers. Either. Over to second. How about that double play? And next for L.A., Teoscar Hernandez. The 5-4-3 double play is a gem in baseball, and how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy? Great work enough. by the infield. First pitch, not close. Oh. 
And yeah, there's a ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And that is gone. A gigantic blast. It's 2-2. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Up next to the Dodgers. So, the man Gavin. aboard, Will, Will Smith, Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And there's a foul ball. Man at second. Out to short story. Sends it to first. And they get the out on Smith. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. As we go to the last of the third. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. Rafaela. The right hander back to work. Fall off foul. In the air out towards right center. Edmund sprinting for this one. Hauls it in for the out. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Struck out swinging his first time. Abreu. Swings through that one. Oh, one. One strike. Tied up here in the early going. Muncie. Throws the first in time. And here is Devers. He's already homered here in this one. Ground ball right side oh. and foul ball. This one in the air right field. Betts settles underneath it. He's got it and that'll end the inning. New inning getting started. Here comes Max Muncy. Max Muncy. And here comes. Muncy, multi-time All-Star, 33 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2012. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Liner caught it second. Here comes Chris Taylor. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Swings through that one for strike one. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. One down, base is empty. Out to short. Tosses to first. Taylor out of the play. Miguel Rojas will hit next. Single and drove in a run his first time through. In the dirt, and it's one and oh. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Ripped on a line. Abreu makes the catch inning over. Bottom of the fourth, Leading stepping off. in the Four long ball threat, off. Tyler O'Neill. The left fielder, Tyler O'Neill.
The pitch. Swing and a miss. Ball and one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. And he'll two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now batting Tristan now batting. Casas. Lots of players perform better at home, and this batter is no exception. Might be the crowd or the familiar surroundings, but he's typically better in this environment. Hard hit, left side. Muncie sends it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. And now the DH, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. In there, and it's on one. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep okay. the momentum going. Two down, nobody on. Right side. Betts brings it in for the third out. in Boston digging in is the switch inning outfielder Tommy Edmond Tommy Edmond Crawford back to work that one fouled off you know these Dodgers doing a good job of putting the ball into play and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side the numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning and they've only struck out twice so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball in the air center field Duran sizes this one up and there's one away here's Mookie now he's kind of an outlier especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power lace down the line could be extra bases and that rolls into the corner Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. They really turned on that one, and as it hooked down the line, it was hard to tell if it would stay fair, but it just barely sneaked in there. In the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. Left-hand batter waits. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. One at second to first. Not in time. Great effort there. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. He's already homered in this game. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. 0-2 now. Freeman, the runner at first with two gone. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here in Leading Boston, off. bottom Whoa, of the no, inning. Here's Trevor Story now. Not shortstop. Trevor Story. And he deals. Edmund going back. And it hits off the monster. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Wong in the box now. Take strike one. And a big swing and a miss. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run. So That one is absolutely belted. Edmund sprinting for this one. 
Drops into the glove. Runner tags at second. And he's in safely at third with one out. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Duran up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. So two balls and no strikes. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. Caught just shy of the wall. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Yeah, Got the job done. The second page. Still stepping in for Boston. Sidney Rafaela. Oh, oh, oh. One for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball. Sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Swings through that. One and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at Fenway Park. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter. Gavin. Love. Lux. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a big swing and a miss. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. And a pop up right side, foul territory. He's under it. One up, one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Smith, oh. up for the third time here, watches that one miss. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Moving under it. Brings it in. Two down. Max Muncy at the dish. Now batting. Third baseman. Max Muncy. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Two outs. Ripped on the ground a second. Gathers yeah. and yeah. throws to first. And that is the inning. And we're back. Leading now, off, will you a brave? The right fielder. So, Boo, you yeah. went to college in this town. What was right it like here. for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here That's to Fenway ball. Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance. A dive, and he can't haul it in. And that's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Punched that one down the line for extra bases, and that was an excellent job going with the pitch on the outside. Got his bat on plane and just oh, drove it. Bravo. Abreu leads off second with nobody out. Devers swings and drives one. Deep right field, carrying well. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 5 2. And stepping in for Boston, Tyler O'Neill. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. 
Swing and a miss. Strike one. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And a foul ball. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Tristan Casas up next First for the Red Sox. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Swing and a miss. Strike one. You know, Singer, they talk about Red Sox nation, but there is something to that because the Boston Red Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. Northern now, Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. Out towards right center field. Edmund puts it away. That is the inning. Back now at Fenway. We go to the top of the seventh. And now here's the Dodgers designated. Taylor. Number 63 taking over on the mound. Now pitching for the Red Sox. Number 63. Justin. The pitch. Slayton. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Back up the middle at a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He was all over that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Rojas in the box again. Takes a strike. Line drive. Base hit. Lead runner touches second. Headed for third. Trying to get back to second, but he can't. So up next, Tommy Edmund. On the ground left side, six. Throws across the diamond, and they get Edmund for the out. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Mookie now. Ground ball left side. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Number five, Freddie Freeman. High fly ball out towards left field. O'Neill going back. Runner from third in to score. 5-3 now. Now a second crosses the plate. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. The pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. This one belted. Deep left field. On its way. Gone! He powers that one out of here. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And that's how they take the lead. It's 6-5. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here's your one. Ball one ball, on there. One strike. Ball on the mound. This is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. No question about this one. It's out of here. A massive home run. And they add a run. It's 7 5. <laughs> Two out. <laughs> out space is empty. Now it's going to be Will Smith. Nine. Late with the swing there. Oh, and one. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, one then you got a chance. Going to count one and two. Got 
Got it by him for the K. Set for the last Lead half off. of the seventh. Well, Trevor well, Story well, comes up to the plate. The shortstop, Trevor Story. The pitch. Well, that one's upstairs. Ball one. Ball one. Ball. one. No strike. Right through there for a strike. Good. I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now batting. Catcher. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just one of those seen high base hits 16. through the infield. He just kind of rolled yeah, over on it a little bit, but sometimes yeah, those man. can find a hole and get you a knock. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and it's a one-run game. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Edmund try to get to it. He's got it. And there are two down. Now here is Willier Abreu. One for three. Abreu. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Runner around third. He scores and the Red Sox tie it up. It's 7-7. Big RBI for him right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. What Devers up. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Hit in the air. Left field. Hernandez makes the play. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Max Muncy. That fun. Max Muncy. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Greg Weiser. And he's got a big-time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. The pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Good oh, late oh, sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Whips it to Casas. They get the out on Muncie. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Oh. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Chopped left side. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. One down. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. And a foul ball left side. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. One ball, two straight. Squirts away a little bit, and an excellent job keeping it right there. 
That one misses. The count now two and two. And downstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And that one hit to first. Down the line, and it's foul. Three, two. And that one gets past the catcher. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump. And now it's going to be Tommy Edmond. And fouled off. Comes up empty. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Struck him out looking. Back here in Boston, now the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. The left fielder, Tyler. For the Dodgers, number 49, Blake Klein. And a pitch. On its way to the corner. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. And that's in for a strike. Slow roller to third. Throw on to Freeman, and O'Neill is retired. Now back. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Rojas zips it across, and a couple of quick outs. Masataka Yoshida digs in now. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. And that squirts through. And that extends the inning. Waste no time there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball no up the middle. 10. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach, Payne. Story swings through it for strike one. Right through there for a strike. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Back here at Fenway. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the Dodger. Dead. New pitcher on here, Chris Martin. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 55, Chris Martin. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. O'Neill raging back towards the wall, and it bangs off the monster. But he holds up at first. Good play out there to cut it off. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Freeman swings through it for strike one. On the ground, and it's just foul. That was close. Kicks and deals. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Oh, right to the backstop. Betts into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. And next for L.A., Teoscar Hernandez. That one misses. 1-0.
Turned on, but foul wide of third. That's and ball. another ball. Two and one. one out. The go ahead run is its second here at the top of the ninth. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. That one missed. Three balls. Two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Second baseman. Two on, one out. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. And, and a pitch is outside. Ball one. Two on, one out. On the ground, a second. Might be two. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And everyone's safe. They're loaded. The batter now oh, will be Dodgers. Will Smith. The Golden opportunity Will right here. Smith. One ball, no straight. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Betts at third. Hernandez at second. Lux over at first with one away. for a strike. One and two. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Huge strike out there. And now it's Max Muncy. Over four. Two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. And that one goes straight to the Hold backstop. One. And he's out on the tag. And that is that. Back here at Fenway, bottom of the nine. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. And the pitch. That clips the corner. They only say it's the best no pitch ball. in baseball. One strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. And that one is lifted in the air. Bet settles underneath it. And out number one on the grab. Now batting Jaron Duran. Well, he came out clutch Durant. earlier in this ball game and really Durant. just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. An attention to walk here. Interesting choice with the bases empty and one away. Now it's the second baseman, Sidine Rafaela. Rafaela. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, dude. And there's a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Ball back in in a hurry, and the winning run now at second with only one away. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Brings it in. Out number two. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. Devers. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. And he's gone yard again. And they will walk it off.
Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final 10-7. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox: ten runs, twelve hits, two errors. They left four runners on base. For the Dodgers, seven runs on thirteen hits, one error. They left eight runners on base.